Hello, crafty fans. It's a gift diva here. Um, uh, Lynn, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I have reached the 100th subscriber mark. Yay! Which is a big deal <laughs> for me. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to have a giveaway soon to celebrate. Uh, so stay tuned to this channel. I'm still trying to um, figure out, get my giveaway together before I... Um, before I announce you know, the giveaway and give you all a chance to win, but there will be a chance to win, so please stay tuned. So moving on, I'm on today to give you um, some of the things I've bought over the last week or so, collective haul, it's from a variety of different places. Um, I have a couple of projects um, coming up that I'm gonna share with you as well, but today I just wanna share the, some of the fun stuff that I've purchased in the last uh, week or so. The first stop was Tuesday, um, not Tuesday morning, the first stop was Tonic Studios. And they had a dye and paper sale. And I shared the paper on Instagram, but I didn't share the dyes. Um, so the first dye I purchased was this uh, Mariposa dye. I love character dyes like this. And so she's really pretty with the butterflies in her hair and kind of the boho look. So I can't wait to cut her out to see what she's like. Next is Carmelia. Um, I think I saw this on someone's Instagram. I want to say 504 pretty things, but I'm not sure. Um, but she turned out really pretty uh, cut out. I did cut her out, so let me show you. So this is how she looks cut out. Isn't she pretty? Um, it comes with the flower dies, and I just added some bling in the center and a sentiment. Uh, just a quick little card. I wanted to see what she looks like, um, but she turned out to be really cute. So I'm excited to play with her. I'm going to make some more things with her. I think she'd be really cute on the top of a journal. Um, so I'm going to play with that a little bit. Next, they had these heart dye shaker sets um, on clearance. And I have made maybe three shaker cards since I started card making. And um, I wanted to get some more practice in. I think I would uh, enjoy them more if I made them more. So um, this seemed like a, um, it, can attain, it contains the, the, the die and then five shaker blisters um, to make the, to put the shaker stuff in, the sequins in. So I'm excited to try that. Then I got this die um, with all my love. It was also on, on clearance and it has the shadow um, and the, the shadow cut out and the words die. So I'm excited to use that. Next, I got my Spellbinders. Um, I joined the Spellbinders Die of the Month Club, the Small and Large Die of the Month Club. So you've probably already seen January, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is the January die. Uh, there's some really pretty projects on their website. Um, and on Pinterest uh, with this die with the with the heart and the flowers and I'm going to do maybe some Mother's Day things with it uh, so that I'll get a chance to play with it and then this was the small die uh, it's called First Crush and it has um, a, a little a girl and a boy you can make either a girl or a boy uh, character with that and see so you can see the back the projects you can make get closer to the camera with that so I, this, I need to practice my paper piecing also, so I thought this would be a good way to um, dive in and, and do that, do some practice with the paper piece, paper piecing. So I got that. Then the February of the month dies are these butterflies, and I am butterfly obsessed. I love butterfly dies, so I probably have too many, but that's okay. <laughs> so this one's called Bonjour, and it has the word Bonjour, and it has several butterfly dies that I'm excited to play with. So I'm going to crack those open. And then it came with this one also, which is called Spring Flutter. And it looks like a tip-in die with where you could cut out. It has some greetings. And then here on the back, you can see some of the things you can do. So I'm excited to play with that. Oh, I'm going to show you the back of this one either with the butterflies. So that, that should be pretty also. Then from uh, scrapbook.com, I picked up a couple of things. I picked up some of this uh, creative paper clay. And 
um, some uh, some gar some molds by uh, Redesign by Prima. Uh, this one is called In the Garden, and I'm gonna make some of my own clay pieces. I think I'm gonna start with paper clay. I don't really want to mess with resin just yet, so I thought the paper clay would be fun. Plus, Prima molds. I don't know if you know this, but they're food safe, so. You could actually use these for candy or uh, up to 500 degrees so you could bake something in them, use them for ice. So I, I went ahead and got, they're a little pricier than some other molds, but I went ahead and got them because they have multi, multiple uses. I'm a, I can make candy as well, so I thought that was kind of neat. So here's this mold, just going to make some really pretty flowers. And, you know, once you make them in paper, you can color them up any way you want to. So I got that one. Then I got Leafy Blossoms. I thought these would be two good basic ones to start out with. Oh, sorry for the crinkling. So this one comes with this big leaf uh, mold and then little leaves and then a little flower and a couple of other, ex you know, extra leaves. So I thought that would be pretty to play with. So I'm excited to play with that. Maybe I'll play with that on camera. Um, drop me a note down in the comment section if you would be interested in seeing something like that. Um, uh, kind of a craft with me and we could play with, the play with them together and see what we come up with. I thought that might be fun. But let me know what you think about that. Again, sorry for the crinkling. Then I picked up a couple of more of these spark paints. If you saw my, thank you, uh, thank you for all of the comments you gave me on the pizza boxes. I really appreciate that. I'm kind of obsessed with them now. Um, I, I have several more uh, coming because I'm just, I just love doing those. So <laughs> you'll be seeing more of those. Um, but these, this is the paint that I use to paint them. Uh, this Art Alchemy Sparks paint. So I got two more colors. This one's called Unicorn Hair, which I thought was pretty funny. Thought that was pretty, and then this one was cut. This called Iris. Po what is it called? Iris Potion. So I thought those would be fun to play with. And then, um, if you saw my pizza box dies, you also saw the canvas magnets that I did for um, Gloria and for sharing more um, for Ebony. And so I bought some black gesso. Um, I used white gesso on those, um, those, but I bought some more of those too, because I'm a little obsessed with those now. Um, and so I thought I would get some black gesso in case I wanted to go with another kind of look on those. Um, so I got a little bottle of that to play with. And then I've been looking for the Picket Fence, um, ink, Distress Oxide ink pad, but I can't, everybody sold out of it. And so, uh, I started looking for the Distress Paint. And everybody was sold out of it. And then I did a notification with scrapbook.com. And finally they got some in. So I grabbed me a little ball of that. Because I, I wanted to play with that. So that is scrapbook.com. Then. I ordered from My Favorite Things. And I ordered this. Um, I just ordered a, a small thing. It's called Sweet Celebrations. And, um, I ordered it initially for Valentine's Day, but I got so busy, I didn't get a chance to play with it. But there's other sentiments up here. Have a sweet birthday. You melt my heart. I love you more than chocolate. You're so sweet. Two from open a case of emergency, which is really cute. <laughs> and this coordinates with these two dies, the, which everybody has but me, I guess now. But this is the nugget label die where you basically do the Hershey's nuggets and um, on a tag. And you can drop them down on a tag and, um, you know, put them in the little um, nugget cases here. So I'm excited to play with that. I thought that would be fun for Easter. So that will work out. And then I got the lip, the uh, chapstick die also, the lip balm that they're calling it, die also, where you can put it on the tag and stick your lip balm in. So I got that as well. And then I got um, just replenishing packs of the nuggets. Um, my niece is getting married in April, and so I thought it might be fun to do some things for the bridal shower, too. So um, I got that, and I got the refill things for the lip balms. 
And it, when you spend a certain amount at My Favorite Things, you get a die. So I got this, and it's it's a birthday wishes die. I think it says birthday wishes. Yeah, birthday wishes. So I got the free die. So that was kind of neat. I don't normally order from My Favorite Things too often, but I wanted those two dies. So Next. I ordered from... Now this was... Um, I watch Crazy Paper Chick. Um, she does some really neat cards, and she did a, a review recently from our, from some stuff she got from Arteza. So I was enabled, basically. Let's blame her. <laughs> and um, so I got these metallic gouache paints, and they act like an acrylic, but if you add water, they're, they can be watercolor. Ugh water color sorry people um and so i'm excited to play with these she did some really awesome backgrounds uh for her cards um with this paint and so uh, that's on my to-do list to play with these and then i am a colored pencil junkie and so they had uh, wood i didn't know they had wood pencils so i got the wood pencils to try as well um i'm kind of behind on my card making i need to catch up uh, so I'm going to uh, be making some cards here over the next few weeks as well. So I got that. And then I, I needed some new watercolor brushes. And so I decided I would give these a try. These look pretty good. So I bought some watercolor brushes. They were on sale. So I got those. Then I went to Joann's because I was watching Stephanie Garrett. And she showed these cute little clips that you can paint or decorate any way you want for spring. And they were 50% off, 40% off at Joann's. And I had an additional coupon. So I got I got the wood-shaped birdies. Aren't these cute? Sorry for the crinkling. And I got the bird houses, which are adorable. And I got the dragonflies. It's going to be so fun to decorate those. Then they had um, a, a wood garland set, but I'm not going to use them as garland. I'm going to break them up and use them as in individual pieces and projects. And it's um, dragonflies and flowers. So that's fun. I'm going to use that. And then they had this um, cording. Uh, and I got, I got some of the cording to try. And then um, I was walking out, <laughs> and I found this... Um, spring felt with these really pretty colors and I'm getting ready to do a die cut swap and I thought these would be so pretty to do you know some kind of die cut on and send to my die cut part my swap partner aren't these pretty so you get the flowers the leafy and they're um and it was really reasonable they were 6.99 but they were half 50 percent off so um, and it's a, it looks like it's a pretty nice quality felt. So I, there's this design with the pretty leaves. Then it's this design with the florals. I thought that was pretty. And you got this solid teal color. I think that's teal. I'm not sure. Um, this pretty green mossy green color, spring green, happy green color. And then you got the pretty pink. And then there's a different thicknesses in here. So there's some thicker felt and there's some thinner felt. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then you get this lighter blue. And you get two sheets of each. So there was 12, there's a dozen sheets for what, $3. So I thought that was pretty good. Plus I have a coupon. So I got that. So excited about that. Then from Crafter's Companion, okay, <laughs> butterflies, um, there was a really good deal in this butterfly set. So I got the butterflies and the flowers and the, and the coordinating dies for that. Sorry. And then these butterflies which these are create a card butterflies so they tip in somehow to the card see see the, how they have the little tabs on the ends and i'm wondering if i can turn those into bag toppers in some way i'm going to play around with that 
and see what can be done there. So that will be fun to play with. This will be pretty for my swap partner too. I'll cut some out for her. And then lastly, I got this, um, sorry, I got this um, Glow Meets Glam paper set. And I'm not going to pull it out because everybody's probably seen it by now. But the papers are really pretty. I love these. They're so fun. I thought that'd be a fun Mother's Day set. So in addition to the paper, I got the die cut pack with gold foil accents. And this is what comes in the die cut pack. Focused. Very cute. And I got the brads. They also have gold accents. Very nice. Then I got the chipboard stickers, which I love chipboard. Really cute. I love this mask. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Very cute. Then I got the journaling cards. And these are the cards you get. So we'll probably make a cute traveler's notebook. Then I got the enamel dots. And then um, at Hobby Lobby, just a, side, a quick segue here. I got these because I thought they would be cute with this collection. They were 50% um, off when Paper Studio was 50% off. These little acrylic eyelashes. So I thought that would be cute. And then the regular stickers. Oops, there we go. So that is all I have for you today in terms of haulage. And again, like I said, stay tuned um, for my 100 subscriber giveaway and for some projects that are coming up that I'm working on. I'm almost finished and I will sh that I will share with you. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're just stopping by my channel, um, thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. Uh, I would love to have you join my little crafty community. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good night.